Hey guys, Jay here. So I just wanted to make a quick video showing you where to find the 12th and final Estus shard, or Estus flash shard, sorry, which lets you upgrade your Estus flask. As you can see, I have 12, which is, I believe is the maximum you can get since there's 11 shards. So um, to get this one, it's a real pain, which is why I wanted to make a video because I had such a hard time finding it and subsequently actually getting to it. So you're going to want to start in the Crumbled Ruins bonfire in the Shrine of Amana which coming from the first bonfire you go through the uh, first mist gate which comes out right there and then um, you'll see the bonfire on your left and so to get to the essence flash shard we are going to want to go out this exit um, i would recommend just killing all of these things as you see them because you can just run past them but a lot of times they'll follow you later and the big part that makes this particularly annoying is the shelf that you're walking on just drops off it, certain points and it's not unless you have your camera pointed straight at the ground like I have here it's really difficult to see even like this it's not the easiest to spot but if you have your camera like this you've got no shot so um, for this first part pretty much just like hug the wall and I would go ahead and take out these two spellcasters with some kind of range if you have it either arrows or magic because otherwise they will be a pain and in addition to just hitting you for damage um, the other problem with them is their spells have some amount of knockback so if you're on one of the areas that doesn't have much footing left, I've had it knock me off and just kill me that way before. So just take these two guys out however you can, magic or arrows, whatever. Just any kind of range attack will do it. They're not very strong. Okay, so once they're dead, heal up. And um, continue this way. One thing I would recommend to make this easier is keep the ed like one edge in sight at all times, and that way you should be able to not fall off. As you can see, I'm just keeping that edge along the uh, right side of my screen. Yep, I lost it, but um, keep heading this general direction. There we go. Tup, he fell off. Noob. Okay, so you'll come to this area, so keep just basically hug the wall and you'll be pretty safe from falling off. Take care of these guys as they appear. And around this corner you'll see the Cyclops, or as me and my friends call them, the Hippos. I think it's a better name. Um, this guy kind of sucks because you have to fight him without much room to maneuver and if he gets too close he'll just pick you up and eat you, which at least for my characters I don't have a whole lot of health, definitely one-shots me. Um, so just try and take him out from range, and if you need to, back off and come around this building, which is what I would probably recommend doing. Oops, didn't lock on. See, having to fight him, okay, so wait till he falls over like that, and then you can just fire off at him and take him out. So I would just, yeah, back off to this, uh side of the building where you're pretty safe and have a little bit of maneuverability as long as you hug the wall you know you're safe and that's the probably worst enemy I have to fight there's still two more mages left I believe but in any case um, head straight forward this way keeping that edge um, on the right hand of your screen like I'm doing you have to stare pretty much straight down at the water that's okay um, you'll find this thing and once you get to this you know that the path pretty much goes straight from here and there's two spellcasters in the distance, so I'd recommend getting behind one of these pillars and, uh, shit, killing this thing first. So yeah, get behind one of these pillars where you can kind of block their spells by just retreating and take them out. Okay, he is too far away, just kidding. Let's move up to the next pillar. If I could, uh, aim. There we go. Hit shots. And I should note that at the, each of these pillars, you're going to have to keep switching sides because the shelf drops off on a different side on each one, which is kind of annoying. So keep going, just be careful with the paths. You go left around this one. And that one, you probably go okay, either direction. And then here we go make your way past this final pillar and here's the chest with the Estus shard so uh thanks for watching hope this was helpful